Okay, so we're going to look at the force table today. The force table allows us to suspend masses at any angle from zero all the way around to 360 degrees. In the first part of the experiment, we're only going to need to suspend three masses. So I'm going to remove this one and just let the string rest on the table. The first mass we want to suspend is 150 grams at 45 degrees. So to do that, I'm going to loosen the pulley by loosening the screw below, move the pulley to 45 degrees, and retightening the screw. We want to suspend 150 grams. The hanger itself is already 50 grams, so I'll add an additional 100 grams to that hanger, giving us 150 grams at 45 degrees. To the other two pulleys that are located at 180 and 270 degrees, we want to suspend 105 grams of mass. So our hanger is initially 50 grams, I'll add another 50 and another 5 to give us 105 grams at 180 degrees, and I'll add another 55 to the 50 gram hanger, giving me 105 grams at 270 degrees. If I move the ring to the center now and release it, I can see that it remains in place. And what that means is that the three forces are in equilibrium. And if we were to determine the x and y components for each of these three vectors and add them together, we would be able to find out that they were in equilibrium. They should sum to zero. Now, if I want to unbalance the system, I can add another mass to one of the pulleys. And if I take another 50 gram mass and add it to this pulley, hold the ring in the center and release, I can see that it pulls and the brass ring hits the peg. So now we have an unbalanced system of three unbalanced forces.